My dad left at the age of 15 and traveled the world with his sea captain. And, and I know he stayed in Aus, uh, Australia for a while, worked with the, was it gum or whatever in the mountain. But anyway, he migrated in Los Angeles. But when, I don't recall. Mama from Mexico came with her godmother who was married to some kind of a general officer in Mexico. And there was all that uproaring with Pancho Villa and all. And he decided he didn't want his wife there. So she asked permission to have my mother come like a chambermaid or whatever and brought her. So the day that they got off the train, my dad spotted her. I guess he was working in construction. Engaged to this young Croatian lady with three brothers. <laughs> and I guess he knew this was not for him. So there was a little rift there. But he just instantly fell in love with my mother. He didn't talk Spanish. She didn't talk Croatian. He got an interpreter. Isn't that cute? That was what you call a love story. We love, love it. Papa was sort of a very intelligent, but a man with no big aspirations outside of making a good living for his family. And he wanted wholesale fish, fresh fish. And that's what he went into. And then in 1921 is when he started Star Fishers, which was still, you know, still operating. My dad was, you know, the Star Fisheries. And then when uh, my sister got married in 1938, her husband was a fisherman. He was from Monterey, Nino DiMaggio. And uh, he, he horribly seasickness. He just, he'd come back from Mexico, like lose 40 pounds. So my dad said, well, I'd come work for me. So he started working with my dad. So he worked with my father and they worked you know, all those years together. And then when my dad decided to, re well, he had some health issues. He got glaucoma, and then he had a heart attack. So he retired and then Nino took over the helm and really built it up, you gotta give him a lot of credit, and built it up to a wonderful business. 